All right, so I um, want to start out by giving all praise on our glory to Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai, the bonus to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutations to the hopefully elect coming at you with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shai. What all do you see wrong in this picture? These people actually believe that they have the word of truth. Now, you, as you can see on this corner, on the street corner in the downtown area, you have whom you call Jehovah Witnesses out there, right? So you have two women, which out, which, which is out there, and you got two uh, older men, and um, predominantly, predominantly, you know, as far as what I have seen, Jehovah Witnesses, it's always, you know, the older people, okay, that's out there, you know, trying to speak to people. Um, give people pamphlets Things of that nature Okay And they're out there faithfully But the thing is They don't have the word of truth You know And then on top of that you women shouldn't even be out there You know Trying to teach Give out pamphlets Because they don't just give out pamphlets You know with that they ask you questions And they'll try to uh, converse with you and things of that sort. And they're not just talking to the women. They're talking to men. They're talking to whoever comes across their path. You know? And so there's a lot of them out there. You know, usually you see, I see them almost every day. You know? If not every day. <clears throat> okay? But I, I, you know, I bring this up to say this. This scripture right, right here. It's not talking about them. When it says thine eyes shall see thy teachers. No, it's not talking about the Jehovah Witnesses that are on the street corners, walking around and giving people pamphlets. No, when the scripture says thine eyes shall see thy teachers, it's talking about, you know, the true men of the Lord. But now take this as well. <clears throat> the deceiver, right? The deceived and the deceiver are his. So. And that's in the book of Job, um, chapter 12, verse 16. But on the flip side, you do have false prophets out there. You do have false teachers. And they fit in that category of being a false teacher. Okay, or having false teachings, wishing, which they have a false doctrine that they teach. So... And it's going to be a quick hit, but never, um, last but not least, let's get into the scriptures. It says, it's the book of Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. And it's not talking about these Jehovah Witnesses that are on the corners faithfully. Passing out pamphlets, you know, and you know, spreading this, this, this false doctrine that they do teach. Okay, <clears throat> it says in thy eye and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee, saying, "This is the way, walk ye in it." When you turn to the right and when you turn to the left, now you'll have many people, you know, many uh, organizations, you know, will say. This is the word of truth. This is the way. But do their doctrine line up with the scriptures? Hmm? Do their doctrine line up with the scriptures? As the scriptures say in the book of Isaiah chapter um, 8 verse 20, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, there is no light in them. So, you know, I was uh, on a live stream with Elder, the beloved Elder Manatha Zakba, and you had this guy, Geno Jennings, Telling his congregation that, you know, just a whole bunch of lies. But he telling his congregation that it doesn't matter if, you know, that, that it doesn't matter if you're an Israelite, so to speak. You know, basically denounce your heritage of being an Israelite. You know, and he's saying all these different things. And you hear, you know, the background of people, you know, yelling out. Yes, you know, yes, or talk to them, you know, and all these different things. But 
he's a complete deceiver because only Israelites will be saved. And that is going to be the elect of Israel on this side will be saved. And it has nothing to do with your, do with your color. And that's another thing that he was uh, basically pushing to the congregation as if we make this a thing of color. All right? Most you know, Israelite groups that I know of all teach that Israel can come, can come in any shade all right? or any skin complexion, so to speak. It's not a, a thing of, of, you know, you, you have to be of a dark complexion. No. But see, these are these are the lies that, you know, a lot of people are, are, are uh, taking heed to. Oh, the, what the description says. Um, they shall heed to themselves. Teachers having itching ears. Roughly paraphrasing. So you have a lot of that going on. That's why I went. That's why I uh, quoted. The book of Job chapter 12 verse 16 That the seeds and the deceiver are his <clears throat> Okay So back to verse 21 It says And thy eyes and thy ears Salakia, Shall hear a word behind thee saying This is the way walk ye in it When you turn to the right hand And when you turn to the left Got the book of Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 15 And I will give you pastors according to mine heart Which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding So where are, where are you actually getting the word of truth from I mean who Are you actually getting The word of truth from Hmm The men of the Lord Certain with the prophets Right The apostles and elders Of great millstone This is where the word of truth Resides at Okay The true doctrine The living waters Okay The bread The oil You see The honey This is where the true understanding Is coming from and a lot of people hijack what the apostles and elders teach And then they put their own spin to it I'm telling you, a lot of you people that you think that, you know uh, uh, That have increased in knowledge Well, they learned the majority, if not all From the apostles and elders of Great Millstone And then put their twist on it When they got to a point where, you know, they felt uh, You know, they don't need, you know, to be fed by the el elders no more Or whatever the case may be all right, but but you're getting fed with the true knowledge and understanding from the doctrine of great millstone. All right, so how you get the understanding of you know you're an Israelite or who Esau Edom is or, or where is America in the Holy Scriptures? You know, and I just threw threw out a few examples, but that's the that's the knowledge and understanding that you're being fed with. You can't get fed by those individuals on that corner, right? You can't get fed by an individual, you know, a, 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 a deceiver like Geno Jennings. Now, you may learn a thing here or two. You know, I'm not saying that. But the true knowledge and understanding, you're not going to get it from these different individuals. All right? You're not going to get the true uh, understanding of the Holy Scriptures. That's why a lot of these people can't even understand the milk. So when you get to the meaty portion of the scriptures, they choke on it, they fold on it because they can't, they can't, they can't uh, 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 swallow it down. You know, they gag or they choke on it. You know, of different things we uh, uh, we bring out. Cause what? They weren't meant to get it, or they just wasn't simply ready for it at that time. You got a lot of Jake to do that. You know, when it's, they, they try to get down and meet and, you know, they start to, to, to choke and gag on it and they just give up. They just spit it out and say, you know what? Uh, you know, because they take, a, they take too a big of a piece instead of saying, you know what? Let, 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 me, let, me, let me nibble on it a little bit or let me cut this, this piece in, in half or whatnot and then let me eat. And what do I mean by that? I mean, it's, you know, you're, 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 you're eating at smaller portions. You're not just taking a big, you know, Nine ounce sir sir sirloin at one time and just you know devouring it. You say you know what? Let me cut a little piece. Let me you know. And then you know you, you progress further. You know just you know using the metaphor. I don't know if that was good or not, but you see. But point being is when the scripture says, "Thine eyes shall see thy teachers," it's not talking about those people on the corner giving out pamphlets and yada yada yada. You know this and that. Okay, so. I mean, Lord willing, it was NFL. Until next time, I want to say shalom.